What's good, fam? I am coming on, and today I had a great question in my inbox, and I want to tell you the one question that you should ask yourself before deciding to publish your work. I am Dana Pittman. I'm a USA Today bestselling author. I'm a developmental editor, and I am the chief storyteller at Danger Tales. I help writers become authors and help them to write addictive novels. Now, this question came to my inbox and it is a great question. And I'm not gonna tell all the details because it was a private story, but I'm gonna tell you the gist of the question, which was, I have this friend who has amazing work and I wish more people could read her work. And I, first of all, wanna say, thank you for being an amazing friend, right? Because a lot of times we don't have the confidence in our work or we just don't know what steps to take after we write, we wrote the story, we just don't know. And that's a, just an educational gap, right? That's a hump, but it's just an educational gap that we have to close. But before even that, this is the one question I suggest you ask yourself. Do you write for you or do you write for the world? Because you will have people who write for themselves that are amazing writers, but they have no desire to share their work with people with anyone other than themselves or um, outside of their um, friend zone or their comfort zone. And listen, some people don't get it, but as a writer, writing in itself is therapeutic. <laughs> so for a lot of people, that's good enough. But then on the other hand, there are people where they write and they want their work to go out into the world for so many reasons. They believe it's a part of their gifting. They believe it's a part of their testimony. They just, they want to use it to grow um, a secondary income. They want it to be part of their hustle. They just want to try something different. And um, it, neither is right or wrong. It is a personal decision, but you have to decide because that will help you to decide how to um, bridge that gap between where you are and where you want to be. I have a short story or I have this novel and I want to get it out to the world or I have the story in the story or novel and I want to keep it to myself. Oh. So ask yourself that one question. And once you ask yourself that one question, then it's up to you to begin to decide what are your next steps. I remember I had this one client and honestly, I believe she is one of the best writers, best writers, one of the best writers I've ever worked with. And, um, but she has a different pace than some of my other clients and it's just her own rhythm and there's nothing wrong with that. And all I can do, you know, is help her and be supportive and encourage her. And so, after you ask that one question, I'm gonna to say to the uh, woman who sent me the inbox, I would then ask um, your friend or the person that you've read this wonderful story from, you know, what would you like to do? What are some of the next steps for you? And I do um, offer a free breakthrough session. If you go to my website, I'll put the link to go in uh, to be able to book the free breakthrough session to see if there's other options that can be done. But you start there of seeing and asking and don't forget to encourage and um, that you've enjoyed the story and what you've enjoyed about it and, and see where the next steps take you, okay? I hope that was helpful, not just for her, but also for you. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section or DM me. I would love to be able to answer your questions and um, I will be back really, really soon. But with the closing thing that I want to say is this. There are some people that are amazing storytellers and they don't give themselves the credit because it comes natural to them. 
and it sometimes it takes an outside party to help them to see how amazing they are. So let's say thank you and a big shout out to friends and family and colleagues and readers who encourage writers to keep writing. And if that is you and you want to have your writing out in the world or you want to keep creating your stories, if it is so in you to do, keep writing. You will find a way to do the other things, whether by elbow grease, that's old school, or getting help. But keep writing because we need your voice in the world. With that said, I am out. I will be back tomorrow for a brief period because I am speaking at the Romance a Week um, virtual conference. So I hope that you had an opportunity to register. I will be talking about the uh, five plotting non-negotiables. And this is something whether you are a plotter, a, a pantser, uh, I don't know what I am, but I need help bringing my structure together, then it's for you too. So I hope that you plan to join me. Again, I will be back really, really soon. You can find me online at dangertells.com. Have a fantastic day. I will see you, Lord's will, really, really soon. Take care and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.